It all began in the forest, with some woodcutters working on the field, cutting woods when they heard a howling in the woods and they were frightened by it. In a moment, they were attacked by wolves. Two woodcutters barely escaped while one of them was caught, bitten, and almost killed when the wolves heard a sound coming from the woods. The sound came from a half-human, half-wolf. The beings were able to tame the wolves, and heal the man's bite wounds. These beings are called the Wolf Walkers. Welcome to its mythical, we are recapping the animation titled Wolf Walkers. The scene begins with a little girl named Robin. She was practicing with her crossbow, training to be a wolf hunter like her dad, but her dad wasn't buying any of it, as all he wanted was for her to be safe inside the walls under the good graces of the Lord Protector of the city. Her dad left, while Robin secretly followed him practicing her tracking skills. The traces led into the city where she was teased by some boys after she told them she was going to hunt wolves. The boys bullied her and were about to inflict some serious damage before her dad came to her rescue as the boys ran in different directions. Her father took her to a dancing festival and they danced for a while until the bell rang. The dancing festival came to a halt, as a soldier informs Robin's dad about some wolves in the woods attacking woodcutters and ordered him to kill the wolves. Robin escorted her father to the city gates and offered to join him in hunting the wolves but her father objected stating that no children are allowed beyond the walls of the city, that it's very dangerous for her. Robin disappointed tried to go out again, but the guard stopped her. She caused a distraction for the guards and they fell for it. Robin took advantage of the distraction and was able to sneak out of the city gates with her pet bird named Merlin and went into the woods. In the woods she traced her father secretly until she heard a cry from the forest signaling the presence of a wolf. She traced the sound into the woods and saw the wolf in the midst of sheep. She tried to shoot the wolves down with her crossbow but accidentally shot Merlin down. Suddenly a little girl came out of the woods roaring and howling like a wolf. She was able to tame the wolves and took Merlin with her into the forest. Robin's father came just in time and was able to scare the wolves back into the woods. Robin tried going to the forest to rescue Merlin but she was stopped by her dad who told her that Merlin must have been eaten by the wolves. The Lord Protector arrived at the scene to see for himself what was going on. One of the woodcutters had an exchange of words with the Lord Protector which led to his arrest. The Lord Protector was disappointed with Robin's dad and insisted he do a better job at trapping at hunting the wolves ravaging his city. He was surprised to see a little child beyond the walls against his orders and ordered that she be taken to the scullery. On the way, the arrested woodcutter told Robin about the girl she saw. He told Robin that the girl was a wolf walker. He told her about his experience with wolf walkers and how he was healed by them once. Robin distracted the soldiers again and took advantage of the distraction fleeing into the woods. In the woods, she was surprised to see Merlin again looking pretty much healed, as she was still processing what happened, she saw Meb a young wolf walker in her wolf form. She got scared and tried to shoot her with her crossbow but Merlin prevented her from taking a good shot. Just then, Robin got caught by one of the traps her father set and found herself in the mercy of Meb. She hit the wolf several times with her crossbow which triggers the wolf and the wolf accidentally bit her arm. The wolf cut the rope binding Robin's feet releasing her in the process. Then Meb left her, Merlin followed and Robin chased after Merlin. They led her into the forest, her hand glowed as the forest opened up for her to go in as she went into the den of the wolf walkers. Inside the den, she was greeted by a pack of angry wolves. Robin pleaded that she doesn't want to get eaten but that wasn't Meb intentions as Meb brought out her arm and healed the bite wounds that she inflicted on her earlier. Robin not so sure of who Meb was, asked Meb who she was, and also who her mum was. Meb told her that they were wolf walkers, that her and her mum were the last of her kind. She also told her wolf walkers possess the ability to tame wolves and also when they are asleep, their wolf form separates from their physical body. Meb told her that her mum wolf form went to search for a new place for them to live. Meb sent Robin and Merlin on their way and Robin promises to return soon. Robin went home and thought about how to convince her father that the wolf walkers were real, she cleaned the house and did all the chores so that her father might get convinced and listen to her. On getting home Robin welcomed her father home and tried to convince him that she saw a wolf walker, 
Her father told her that she was spewing nonsense and got angry with her because she defied the Lord Protector's orders and ensured that by morning, he will take her himself to the scullery. The next morning, she was taken to the scullery where she did a lot of chores. Cleaning the hallway, she accidentally splashed some water and it flowed into the Lord Protector chambers. In an attempt to clean it, she went into the chambers and tried to clean it when she heard a voice calling her from the other side of the chamber. At that moment her hand began to glow, and she attempted to move towards the direction of the call before she was ushered out by her superior who told her that the Lord Protector prohibits anyone from entering the chambers. She worked till dusk and went home. At night, Robin was fast asleep when her body began to glow again, in a moment. She started getting height smell and sensation from her body only to discover that she was a wolf which made her scream. Her father heard the commotion upstairs, went up to check, and was shocked to find a wolf on his daughter's body. Robin tried to signal to her dad that she was the wolf, led to no avail as her dad attacked her and she was forced to flee the city. Outside the walls, she met Meb, Meb was surprised to see her in her wolf form, because she thought she thoroughly healed her bite wounds. They discussed for a while and Robin told her that she got a sensation coming from the Lord Protector's chambers the other day, and thought it might be Meb mother in wolf form but Meb was in denial because she believes her mother can't get caught. After their conversation Meb returned to the city to merge with her body. On getting home she had a change of mind and decide to go have a look at the Lord Protector chamber. On the way, she got noticed by guards and inhabitants of the city. She was ambushed but managed to evade them and made her way to the chambers. In the chambers she met Mebmum, in her wolf form, caged, Mebmum feared for her daughter's life, told Robin to pass a message to Meb telling her to run far away. They were still conversing when they were met by the shocking presence of the Lord Protector. The Lord Protector attacked Robin but she managed to escape and she was chased by the Lord Protector and guards and was almost shot, and she made her way to her home and merged in the body before her dad got into the room. Throughout the night, she couldn't sleep because her wolf form tried to come out any time she dozed. In the morning, she couldn't meet with Meb as promised because she had to go to the scullery, but she told Merlin to inform her. Merlin met with her and signaled her that Robin won't be coming. Meb got angry and sneaked into the city. She was able to locate Robin in the scullery. After their brief conversation, Meb got angry with Robin and left her. On her way back Meb heard the villagers gossiping about how the Lord Protector was able to capture a wolf and tamed it, and was to present the wolf at the arena for everyone to see. On hearing this, she thought of her mother and ran towards the arena. On getting there, she saw her mum chained up, she got up to the stage to prevent any more attack on her mum. The Lord Protector, on seeing her, ordered Robin's dad to capture her. He tried to capture her and got bitten as Meb escaped, but before she did, she informed everyone that she is a wolf walker and she is coming back with her pack of wolves to ravage the city. The Lord Protector heard this and ordered Robin's dad to finish Meba's mum as he and the guards march into the forest to burn it to the ground. Robin prevented her dad from killing the wolf as she unbinds the wolf and they both escaped into the woods. On the way, they met Meb and her pack preparing for an attack. Meb was delighted and forgave Robin. Their short reunion came to a halt as Meb mother got caught by an arrow, and she got terribly injured which forced her to return back to her human body. Meb followed her back to the den to begin her healing process while Robin's dad tried to prevent Robin from going, but she transformed to her wolf form leaving her body with her father. Her father was shocked that she was also one of the wolf walkers as she went to join the pack. Robin's dad got chained up by the Lord Protector because he failed to do his job right and he was dragged along with them. During the confrontation between the wolves and humans, Robin was stunned by a cannon. She was laying on the ground as the Grand Protector tried to shoot her. Her father realizing that his child was the injured wolf tried to help her but he was chained up. Afraid that his daughter might get killed, he transformed to a wolf walker due to the bite wounds from Meb and he killed the Lord Protector. Robin, her father, and the pack of wolves together, were able to heal Meba's mum and both Robin and her dad became one with the pack. That was how the movie ended, please subscribe to It's Mythical for more exciting animations like this.